Uh, hello, let us look at some uh, geometry uh, midterm review questions here. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be first looking at a few terms here together. Negation. What does that mean? Many times we use the word not in it. Uh, in other words, whatever the given statement is, we just have to write down the opposite of that statement, such as it is snowing. That means negation of that would have been it is not snowing. All right, it's rather simple. Now, another thing about negation negation is that if the statement used to be true, negation of that becomes false. We just have to switch the uh, truth values also. On the other hand, conjunction. Uh, conjunction, basically, uh, we can use the word uh, and many times. So we can say, hey, I like to have hamburger and pizza. And pizza. You see the word and? In this case, in order for any uh, conjunction to be true, both has to be true. Will have to be true. So in other words, when we have uh, true and, the symbol for and is the, uh, looks like A. True and true will get us true, but all the other stuff will get us false. Now, on the other hand, disjunction. We can use the word or in this case. So I can say, hey, what would you like to have for lunch? And I can say then uh, hamburger or pizza. Now, in this case, if I get hamburger, I'll be happy. If I get pizza, I'll be happy. And if I get both, I'll be happy. Yes. So in other words, Instead of both has to be true, uh, at least one Oops. at least one uh, is true, then the entire statement is true. So in other words, we could have true, false, and then the uh, statement for or the symbolic form of the uh, disjunction is the upside down a looking thing, so you have a little V looking thing. True or false would be implied. True and false or true will also imply the true. And then true or true is definitely true. Only thing that's false is the false and false or false uh, would be false. All right, how about the uh, next one? Conditional statement, uh, we many times use the word if and then. If something, then something else. The symbolic form of that would have been this. If I have P, then Q. You see the arrow? That's the uh, symbolic form of the um, conditional statement. So now, when do I have conditional statement to be true? Yes, there are a few cases. First one would have been true. We also call it uh, implies. True implies true. That's true statement. And then uh, true implies false. This is the only thing, that, only thing that's false. And then false implies true is also true. And then false imply false is still true. <laughs> Notice that only thing that is false is true implies false. I can consider this one as like a bro broken promise. You know, you kept your bargain, but you, you didn't see the coming up. However it is, that will be the only case. By conditional, the common uh, words that which you can see is the if, uh, if and only if. That's the uh, common uh, wording that you will be seeing in by conditional statement. I can say something like, a triangle is an equilateral triangle if and only if it has three congruent sides. So now, something like that, 
That means if I uh, symbolically, I have an arrow, but it's both sided arrow. So now, that means both of them has to be the same. So true, uh, if and only if true, that would be okay. That's true. False, and if and only, only, uh, only if false, would be still true as long as they're the same. But if they're different, then it's going to be false. So as true, if and only if false, this would be false, and then false, if and only if, true, will still be false. Alright, we're going to have more uh, practice questions coming up very soon. Converse, what does it mean by converse? Converse is switching, or can I say chain, uh, changing the order. In other words, if I have P, then Q, so the converse of this statement, converse of this statement would have been Q then P. Notice that I switched the order. Inverse is the negate So that means P then Q inverse of that would have been not P implies not Q. So we just put the negation. In. Now contrapositive is in fact combination of these, the co uh, converse and inverse. So we have P then Q contrapositive. would have been not Q implies not P. But one thing that I want you to realize is this. Soon as you store contrapositive, many times in the question, uh, they will be using something like logically equivalent. All right, soon as you store logically equivalent, that means you have to think about the contrapositive. And that's the common... Uh, equivalent words that which we have to remember. All right, now, first one is this then. So if I have, uh, let's look at a very simple truth table here. Uh, a and B are already filled. If I have not A, this is basically the um, negation of A. Then as I mentioned before, true becomes false. So you see how I used to have true, now it becomes false. Now next one, true becomes false. And then these two falses becomes true and true. All right, now, uh, A or B, you see this small symbol is or. That means as long as one of them is true, then it's okay. So I want you to look at this one. Ah, both of them are true, so therefore, it should be true. In this case, hey, this one is true, so this one should be true. Third, uh, third row, this one is true, so therefore, Entire statement should be true. The last one, I'm sorry, it's not because there is no truth. So that's how we can do it. All right, A and B, that means both of them has to be true. That's the only case, which is first one, true and true. All the other things has one, at least one false. So this one is true, but the rest of them is all false. A implies B, as I mentioned. Uh, true to true becomes true and true to false. This is the only case where you will see conditional statement to be false. And false to true is true, and false to false is also, also true. Alright, now, by conditional statement, as I mentioned, they have to be the same, so true true is true. But you see it's not the same, true and false, so therefore it's going to be false and false. The last one is false and false, since only because they're the same, we would have gotten true at the end. So these are the basic stuff which we have to realize about the uh, logic. Now let's look at a couple of examples here. First question, given the uh, true statement, John is not handsome, and false statement, John is handsome or smart. Now, <laughs> whoever John is, John is not handsome. Uh, we're saying that that is true. That means, you should notice it has not, that when we say John is not handsome, then this must be false. 
or that means that's a symbol now smart I don't know if the uh, Johnny is actually smart or not but the thing is uh, this entire statement is this entire statement is false how can you have the disjunction to be false both when both of them are false then the tr uh, determine the truth value of the statement John is smart it must be false as we can see All right, number two. What is the negation of the statement? Negation is simply, we just have to use the word not here, so we can write it as squares are not parallelograms. All right, that's it. Uh, let's look at the next one. If I live in Albany, then I am New Yorker. So inverse of that becomes, we just have to negate that. So the, what I can write it is, if I don't live in Albany, then I am not a New Yorker. All right. So in this case, whether the statement, in your opinion, makes sense or not, what we uh, what we have to do is we have to make sure that uh, it is an inverse of the given statement, which is the word "not." in it don't and then not all right number three converse is basically switching the order so here we have uh, instead of writing writing down if I live in Albany I'm not I am a New Yorker we're gonna write down if I'm a New Yorker If I'm a New Yorker, you see I switch the order, the one, the one that comes second, I put that into the first. Uh, I live in Albany. Alright, now contrapositive is combining the inverse and converse. So basically what we can say is, from I uh, from the converse from I am a New Yorker we can write it as if I am not a New Yorker now uh, I don't live in Albany. I don't live in Albany. All right, which uh, conditional is logically equivalent. Once again, the word logically equivalent in this case involves the contrapositive. So the contrapositive would be the answer. All right, uh, number four here. Uh, given the statement, a right angle measures 90 degrees. How is the statement written by conditionally? By conditional, that means I'm looking for the word if and only if. So which one? Which one is if and only if? All right, right over here. So therefore, the angle is right angle if and only if it measures 90 degrees. So that will be our answer choice number two. All right, now let's look at number five. Given the truth statement, uh, Jason uh, goes shopping or he goes to the movies, and Jason does not go to movies. Now, that means, you see, Jason does not go to the movies. The fact that Jason goes to the movie, this must be false. And then they mention that the whole entire thing is true. So, notice the connecting word is or. So, false or what becomes true. The second one has to be true. Because you need at least one true 
in order for the entire statement to be true. Then the fact that Jason goes shopping also must be true. So which is choice? Two. Alright, so we'll stop here for now. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next topic. I believe the next topic is triangles. I'll see you soon.